Hello students, welcome to Short Observes classes. So in today's video, we will be solving 5 questions. So in the earlier video, we solved up till up to question number 20. So in today's video, we will be solving question number 21 until question number 25. So it goes like this. So first we will solve the question number 21. So in question number 21, it is asked an isoquant is derived assuming that four options are given. There is perfect substitutability between factors of production. There are infinite number of techniques to produce a given quantity of output. Inputs are complementary. There are economics of scale in the production of output. So, from all this, it is given the isoquant is basically derived by like this. So isoquants are like this, isoquants. So basically it says that there are infinite number of techniques to produce a given quantity of output. So for question number 21, option B is the right answer. That is there are, for isoquant is derived, assuming there are infinite number of techniques to produce a given quantity of output. Now after question number 21, we will come to question number 22. So question number 22 goes like this. Country A can produce cars using 8 workers in a day and a fridge using 3 workers in a day. Whereas in country B, whereas in country B, a car requires 6 workers and a fridge requires 2 workers per day. Which of the following statement is true? That is country A has a comparative advantage producing cars. Compa B has a comparative advantage in producing car. Country A has a comparative advantage in producing fridge. And country A has a comparative advantage in producing both car and fridge. So what will be the right answer? So first, uh, country A can produce car using 8 workers in a day and fridge using 3 workers in a day. So for country A, eight workers in a day they can produce cars and for fridge they can produce like eight and fridge they can produce three workers and for country B a car requires six workers and a fridge requires two workers so from this point of view you can see who has comparative advantage for when it comes to absolute advantage you see for country B in both the cases for car production and fridge production they have absolute advantage but when you talk about the comparative advantage we take the opportunity cost that is we simply divide 8 by 6 and 3 by 2 now if you do this in this way you will see that is a country B now if you divide 8 by 6 or say now if you put it this way 8 6 3 2 and now for country A it will be 8 by 3 for country B it will be 6 by 2 now if you divide it it will become 3 and it will become less than 3 so country A has a advantage in producing car so the option for this question will be option a option a is the right answer there is com country a has a comparative advantage in producing car because you can see this is less than 3 and this is 3 so b needs 3 labors as a comparative cost as compared to A, so we would conclude that is it is 8 by 3 and it is 3 fridge. So opportunity cost for producing a car is more for country B than for country A because this is the opportunity cost and it is less than 3. So we would conclude option A which say A is the comparative advantage in producing cars. So option A is the right answer for question number 22. Now we will come to the question number 23. So in question number 23 it is asked Say's law in classical theory holds that four options are given. There is excess money supply in the economy in the long run. Bad money in the economy drives good money out of the circulation. There is no general glut in the money 
market in the long run capitalism always results in unemployment so from here we can say option c is the right answer option c is the right answer that is there is no general glut in the market in the long run so in the long run it is clear it will achieve the full employment level so we would say for question number 23 the right answer is option c that is there is no general glut in the economy now we'll come to the next question that is question number 24 so So question number 24 it is asked classical macroeconomics theory combines these four options Adam Smith and Ricardo's theory of value Marshall demand curves and Fisher index says law and quantity theory of money a theory of inflation and interest rates so we know says law was supply creates its own demand So supply creates its own demand. It was based on this that the long run, in long run, it will achieve the full employment level of employment, that is level of output and quantity theory of money was this, that is the proportional relationship between money income and price. So from this, we can say for question number 24, classical macroeconomics theory combines sales law and quantity theory of money. So now we'll come to the last question for this section and for this video as well. It goes foreign direct investment that is FDI in India is not yet allowed in. Four options are given multi-brand retail trading, setting up an educational institution, setting up legal firms, all of the above areas. So for this option a is the right answer that is multi-brand retail trading is not allowed that is multi-brand retail trading trading is not allowed for foreign direct investment in india so thank you for watching this video if you have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 3076 i hope you doubt you don't have any doubt but still if you have doubts you can simply whatsapp me on this number you can also go to our website which is www.showropsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials regarding ma economics entrance paper for different universities I hope you guys have understood it. If you still have any doubt, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number, which is 9836793076. And in the up subsequent video, we'll solve the part B from this same question paper. So keep watching. Have a nice day ahead.